we have one more type for lead in and lead out. This is the arc. Okay, let's um, select these parameters. And here we have arc radius. Is the radius multiplier and determines the size of the entry arc radius. That is by typing 1 we will get an arc for entry of a size equal to the tool radius, in our case 10 millimeters. And let's change for lead out to arc and type in here 3 and here the tool out will be on an arc with a radius of 30 millimeters. Approach angle determines the angular dimension of the arc. If we imagine that a full circle is an arc with a degree of 360, entering 90 we will get an arc of quarter a circle. Typing for example 45 degree will get us an arc of one eighth circle. Okay, uh, let's uncheck this parameter and click OK. And now we have to in and to out by an arc. Here we can also use sloping option. Select sloping for lead in, OK. And here we have something like this. OK. Let's change this parameter a little. OK. And with this type of entry and using the tool radius compensation, most CNC machines controller cannot handle it. There may be a calculation error of the tool path by the controller. Therefore, it is worth using the both option. For lead in, we can use both, and for lead out, we can use both. It is a combination of line and arc, and click OK, and we will get something like this. Of course, these parameters are a bit exaggerated, especially for the circle. But when using different types of tool in and tool out, we must take care that there are no undercuts with the workpiece or collision with the tooling. However, the combined entry with line and arc seems to be a good solution. There is a place to apply the tool offset on the straight line and after that tool gently enter into material. It is worth mentioning that switching the compensation does not require such a long straight line. The controller can correctly recalculate the tool path to apply it to radius compensation value over a distance, for example, 0.5 mm. Okay, the lead in and lead out tab has a few useful parameters. First is get defaults. These parameters allows you to load parameters that we previously saved as default. This option set as default save the current parameters of the tool in and tool out as default parameters, which can later be loaded with this option. Next one, load lead in out data, allows you to load the lead in and lead out parameters previously saved in the file and next parameter save lead in out data allows you to save current lead in lead out data to a file which later can be loaded using the 
load the DIN out data option. In general, it is worth using the adapted lead in and lead out. For example, when using Arc Accenture, the tool is less vulnerable to breaking and this also has a good effect on the machining surface. In the case of wood based materials, the step of entering the tool into the material and the entry exit is often omitted. So the tool goes down like a drill. Maybe in the case of MDF it is not so problematic, but the tools are adapted more to side milling than the face part. When milling metals it is not worth entering the material vertically unless the situation requires it. And the tool is adapted to it. There are special strategies for vertical dip milling, it is called plunge milling. But in most cases, such entry into the material will end up with at least the crushed edges of the flutes and in most cases the breaking the tool. Therefore, while in the case of wood-based materials, an indifferent approach to the entry of the tool into the material will not cause great damage, but in the case of metal milling, we cannot afford it.